Welcome to this lecture by Dr. Jaydev Panchavag on trigeminal neuralgia for medical practitioners. Trigeminal neuralgia is a close topic to our hearts at the MVD center in Pune. Because we have been treating these patients for nearly 20 years now as a focused work along with other neurosurgical work, we could perhaps be the only center in Asia which has an MVD surgery center along with patient support group and counselors and other supporting staff to treat both trigeminal neuralgia and hemifacial spasm. Let's listen to this lecture by Dr. Jayadev Panchavag. So our mission since 2006 is to create this center of excellence for surgeries, counseling, spreading awareness and making patients pain-free and drug-free both. So the entire project started with this person who came to us from North India and uh, he came actually with a bottle of insecticide in his hand. And he told me that if you cannot do anything, I am really going to finish my life. Now, it was a very dramatic kind of a occurrence. And we treated him and then he told us that you have to do something about trigeminal neuralgia. He himself is an engineer actually. And uh, that was a time in 2004 or 5 when we started focusing on microvascular decompression surgeries. So as we all know, trigeminal neuralgia is a very, very painful condition. And this pain is uh, known as the worst pain that is experienced by human beings. It is also called as suicide disease because people, when the therapy is not useful, especially in the old days, they used to really think seriously about suicide and commit suicide. Uh, very sorry to say that even in today's era, I meet patients who have contemplated suicide seriously. I have met one or two patients till now amongst the uh, 1500 that we have operated who had uh, actually attempted and failed in the suicide attempt. So it is a very serious pain without any doubt. It is uh, described as the worst pain ever. So typically this pain is described as the one which starts with very light touch. People tell us regularly that if you apply very firm pressure on those points, they do not get pain. But if there is a light touch of a towel or you know even breeze uh, which is hitting the face, it will start the pain. So photograph of a patient in active attack of the pain. The person is not able to speak, cannot even open her mouth and cannot bear to, you know, even listen to your voice. Usually this disease is seen the most between the ages of 45 and 65. But you can have trigeminal neuralgia starting from the age of 15 right up to the age of 90. Now, this is one of our early patients in the series, very young, 18 or 19 years old. So the age extremes are also possible but this is a typical age of presentation of severe trigeminal neuralgia. Whatever I will speak today has got a very solid history of about 1500 surgeries and with a nearly 98 to 99 percent cure rate. So this neuralgia is sudden stabbing shocking facial pain that seems to come from nowhere and this is one of the pictures which is drawn by a patient of trigeminal neuralgia. This is how he sees the pain. You know he is an artist so this is a very famous picture drawn by a patient. So the pain is sudden, it is severe, it is it has got electric current like or burning quality. It has got typical trigger points on the face, on one side of the face. And these trigger points are in the region of the trigeminal nerve. Now trigeminal nerve region is divided into three. This is the V1 division that is ophthalmic, the maxillary, that is cheek and this is the chin that is ma mandibular division. So it is in a classical trigeminal distribution. Pain lasts for few seconds to one minute or sometimes even more. So diagnosis is purely clinical. It is careful attention to the patient's history that clinches the diagnosis. And as I was saying, it is in one of the three branches of trigeminal nerve. There are typical trigger points, though any point on the face can become a trigger point. So upper lip, ala of the nose, forehead, just above the eye, just in front of the ear, just in front of the tragus, upper or lower gum, just below the lower eyelid, upper or lower lip. These are the typical trigger points. However, any other point here can be a trigger point. And uh, as I was telling before, it is a sudden electric current like piercing sharp knife in the face like sometimes electric shock like pricking of multiple sharp needles type sudden blast of hot bomb in the face these are all the expression used by the patients in 
the trigeminal neuralgia center like somebody putting red chili powder on the face like a lightning strike striking on the face so these are uh, very severe descriptions of the pain in general patients relatives or patients describe this as the worst pain experienced pain you should not wish even your enemies to have you feel that death be better than the suffering or deadly curse or pain of thousand knives piercing the face etc now this is a video of a patient in the acute attack and usually when patients come to us they have taken some numbing medicine so they are not in acute attack but this patient was admitted in acute attack and with her permission we uh, took this video so she is not able to speak she i am asking her to open the mouth she is not able to open the mouth aapka jo dard pehle ho raha hota tha wo kahan se kahan tak aata tha so this is a acute attack of trigeminal neuralgia and this is you know after her surgery after microvascular decompression surgery uh, 15 days after surgery was the time she, when she actually could tell us how the pain was coming and uh, her speech is now free the pain is gone and 98% of the times this will be a uh, you know permanent result this is another patient in acute attack as we were taking round uh, this person had an attack and uh, she is not able to speak she is not able to move her my lips and she just describing how the pain is affecting her don't forget to watch the next lecture on causes of trigeminal neuralgia